quickly filling the water tanks and warming up the motor and we are ready to sail out into the I guess the North Sea and then the English Channel. We're looking at about a hundred mile, hundred nautical mile passage here to Belgium. Out we go. Let's clear the right. Clear the left. Good. So we'll be exiting the Wadden Sea out into the North Sea and then the uh, English Channel there. Wind seemed perfect. I've waited like five days here for a good, good forecast, and I think it's really paid off. We we'll hope so. Hope it will. Let's turn off this motor. to get to Belgium. I've never been there. I guess we'll have to pick up some chocolate and whatever else Belgium has to offer. I, I was I was kind of curious because what do they speak in Belgium, you know? And it apparently is Dutch and French. I don't speak either, although I've been practicing my French a little bit. I don't think it's going to help me much, but we'll get by. So I think I timed the currents pretty well. Uh, so they're just switching as we're sailing out and then over the next few hours they'll pick up with with us and they'll carry us out. Uh, unfortunately at around 8 p.m. I think the currents will switch around and turn against us as we're going down the coast. It's just the way it is out here. Okay let's take a look at the chart. Here's where we're leaving. Dan Helder in the Netherlands and I'm gonna pull up my my little route I made so I could kind of this kind of rough plan to get there through the English Channel and then to Belgium. Zeebrug, I think. I've got a few little options I've decided. I really want to, I want to, I want to fit Belgium in there. Just one extra country. It's kind of fun to get more countries. But see, so you got to cross the, all these traffic separation lines and stuff, and it's quite confusing, and won't get much sleep on this one, I'm pretty sure. It's just kind of, they're really chaotic looking at these charts, trying to see what's going on. And there's a little marina in there we can stop at. And then we got the, the wind, you see. It's just maybe an hour or two, it should, a couple hours, it should switch around, get kind of behind us and push us all the way, all the way in there. And then it's actually good for the rest of the week, so I'm going to quick stop maybe, maybe a day or two, and then head on over to uh, some of these islands down here. I got the uh, a new jet boil. My old one, like the rivets popped out and it just kind of corroded. Apparently, washing these with salt water is not a good idea. And uh, I was shocked at how much these things cost when I went to buy a new one. Take this VTS off. I can't speak Dutch anyway. I don't know why I don't have it on. Uh, and this is the gimbal I made uh, a long time ago. Uh, I, I, you can't really buy it because I, I made it myself. But you can see it's just got some 3D printed parts and some bent metal and a little... I got a ceramic bearing there. And when it pivots this way, it just pivots on the screw. I wanna, I wanna build some kits uh, one day and, and sell them, but uh, it's just on the, you know a long list of things I want to do. But you could build it yourself if you, if you had some creativity. And then I'm just using like the old uh, navigation ram mount to to mount it up there. Works really good. Never spills anything. And this thing boils water so fast. So I'm just making myself a cup of tea now. But I also use it to, to like heat up soup and stuff. Like just really quick super efficient on the fuel like one of these things will last me like three months sometimes and i've got the i got the adapter so i could use these uh these bigger butane things because they have so much more fuel than the little camp stoves even the big camp stoves have like less and then these are even cheaper usually they're only like a buck or two they seem to burn just as good for me because i'm at sea level i think the uh, isobutane has a little bit of propane mixed in there so that's better for like high altitude or in cold cold high altitude stuff uh, but for me, I might as well just use the cheaper fuel because it works equally good. It's a super fast boil. And uh, the reason I like it, this one that has the simmer control because sometimes I do these soups in there. It's a pretty good combo having this pot and then the, uh, the alcohol stove because you can find this alcohol pretty much everywhere I go. Uh, and then these cans, you can, I've also been able to find them. We were just having the hardest time trying to 
find like get propane uh, tanks filled when I was sailing on uh, uh, Ed's boat. And I've heard that a lot. Like every every country has their own connector, and you got to buy a new tank for the propane. And so I think the alcohol and the uh, little camp stove is a pretty good combo. And you could you could fit enough of these cans to like do a whole circuit navigation. Just make sure you put them in uh, like one gallon Ziploc bags, you know, because the cans will rust and they look a little sketchy after a while. It would be pretty cool to sail around these uh, sandbars and stuff. And I've, I've heard a lot of the boats, they'll beach themselves on the sandbar at, at high tide. I don't really feel like doing that uh, with pickled herring. It's possible, but I would kind of like lay over on the side and it just sounds like it'd just become a muddy mess and everything would be <laughs> at an angle. And it seems kind of annoying to, to, to do that. Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll do it. I'm also kind of worried what happens if the waves come when the white high, high tide is covered up and you're on your side, if they'll kind of like wash over the side or something. I don't know. It's probably fine. I'd like to, that's why I would like to get another like a catamaran or a trimaran so that I can do more beaching in the boat because I do kind of like just sitting the, the boat up on the beach. Well, this is a bit of a bummer. 30 minutes into the trip and we are completely the calm. Is there a little wind? No, not really any wind. So... The wind might just be blocked by the land here, so maybe I'll just motor for a little bit and get us further out. Because it is kind of a busy channel and I don't want to just drift aimlessly here for too long. I'm going to try to use the microphone on this trip. I guess since there's no wind, it doesn't really matter too much. I got the DJI wireless microphone. Oh wait, that might not be. side here. Looks like the wind is filling in in from the east like it's supposed to. So let's start with the... Gosh, I kind of want to put the mainsail up. I'll put, above, I'll put up both sails. Mainsail first and the jib. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, we are moving now. Ah, oh, so good. Full oh, wind, I gotta trim the jib in a little bit. I think wind vane needs to go in next. 7.8 knots, awesome. We definitely have some current with us. We're probably sailing at about 4.8, maybe five. Feels good having those sails up and we're moving swiftly. I got the wind vane uh, paddle on, so once the wind picks up a little more, I'll, I'll switch over to that. The, the electric autopilot's still steering. It's pretty good. And I think the wind can be a variable at the beginning because it just kind of picked up. I noticed a bit of a loose uh, bolt, a couple of loose bolts on the Traveler. So I'm going to sort that out now. Yeah, that was real loose. Really need to clean this up down the road, maybe when it's warmer. So that should take care of the, the wiggling noise. That sounds much quieter, very, very good. the AIS tool now on my phone so you can see all those little green boats. This is going to be so useful on this trip. I 
I think they're building a wind farm over there. There's something on the AIS up here. Can't see. Where is it? Oh, there. We are coming up on the wind farms and anchorages just outside of Amster just outside of Amsterdam. These were I was coming in here uh, when I was so exhausted uh, last year and it was just just like the worst. Go back. How do I get, how do I get out of here? Now, luckily I should be much more rested here. And I mean, I'm, I'm gonna get pretty tired, but I should be able to get a little bit of rest out right here. That's oh, another wind farm. Maybe out towards the middle, go a little further offshore. We'll see. Either way, I don't think I'm gonna get much sleep, but at least I got all my AISs and I got two alarms. So if I need to sleep for 10 minutes, I can, I can do a little bit. The sun has gone down and we are surrounded by wind farms out here. And we are coming up on a big ship anchorage too, so it'll be a bunch of weaving through these ships tonight. Wind farms to the right, in front of us, to the left of us, and behind us. They are everywhere. It's over here. It's 5 a.m. I'm so tired. I've gotta stay awake though. There are shifts everywhere. Everywhere. This might be my least favorite place to sail. All right, it is a new morning. And the wind died for a little bit, but now it's back up. We're kind of wing on wing. I think I might need to put the whisker pull out. Or maybe just change the course a few degrees to the left. To the left, got my little arrows. Here we go. And I'm thinking about putting the setting my preventer up. I've got an extra line when I attach to these guys. There's one of these on each side of the boom, and then the one line goes from there back to here. Ah, oh, that's much better. Yeah, I think we maybe put the whisker pole up too. Hold that sail out a little better. Oh man, last night I didn't get much sleep, but finally in the morning I did get a little sleep early this morning, so I'm feeling okay now. Probably sleep a little bit more when I get to Belgium, and then maybe take the train into Bruges. I'm gonna make some Brussels sprouts and salmon for lunch. Mm, delicious. I'm gonna have to see if I have the Belgian flag in my kit here. I think I might. I got a lot of flags in kind of areas. Da, 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 da. Flag, flag, flag. Oh, wait, that might be it. Is that Belgium? Not oh, Spain. Oh, that, is that it? I know it's the same color, colors as Germany. No, that's Germany. Uh, that's it, probably. Belgian. It's like it's never even been used. Awesome.
Thumbs out, great sailing weather today. Enough wind to push us through these waves. Feels good. on here. I want to test the, the wind noise on this microphone. I think it's pretty good. It's just a thing that goes under my on my shirt here. I will do some 360 shots too. Uh, I'll turn this thing on. Here we go. around to setting up the uh, wind vane self-steering. Yeah, so nice not having to listen to the autopilot. Should have set that up ages ago. We're just nine miles from the port, so it looks like we're just gonna make before sunset, maybe get in around seven. That's pretty good. That was like my original estimate when I left. Port control, this is a sailing yacht, Pickled Herring, requesting permission to enter the harbor. Coming up on the port here. Looks like the dredger is gonna feed us in. It took us about a day and a few extra hours because it started the track late. Maybe a day and four hours and then maybe 125, 130 miles. Not bad. Let's see if we can explore a little before the sun goes down. There we are. Looks like they've got an online payment thing. <gasps> a chocolate factory. There's uh, one of those drone boats.
Let's try some fried Belgian junk food. All right, looks good. Some junk food. I slept so good last night. I'm in Zeebrug now and I'm going to head to the city center. I'm going to take the train and we're going to go explore some stuff over there. Ah, there we go. Check it. They're in the mirror here. What a day exploring uh, Brug. Brugas. Brugas. Brug. I got some junk food, went to the beer museum and the uh, Salvador Dali Museum. And uh, what's another one? What's that first one I went to? Chocolate Museum. And got my Belgian waffle also. Ah, so fun. I'm gonna stay one more day, I think. Thanks for uh, joining me on my trip to Belgium. Uh, I had a really fun time there, and uh, that sounds like it reminds me of like a fairy tale town or something. It's really cool uh, in, in Brugge, I guess. Uh, if you are interested in supporting the channel, you got something out of it, and want to make a contribution, there's like links in the description for different ways to do that. But if not, no worries. Um, I do want to mention that some people say I've, I've seen lately have said, "Hey, I, have, I just saw your video. I haven't seen you for a few months. Where are you?" And I actually post videos pretty much every uh, week, sometimes twice a week. I know that YouTube for the last few years, the way it works is like even if you do subscribe, you're not going to see all my videos. It's more just kind of like a suggestion that you like my type of videos. If you do want to see all of them when I post, um, there is a, a little bell icon you can click, and that will tell YouTube you, you definitely want to see all all my videos but I get it like some people just want to see like the the big sailing uh videos and that's fine with me the algorithm I, I, I can understand it. it works pretty well it's been been good to me so no complaints there uh in the next video if you are into the big sailing videos you want to you want to check out the next one I do a 270 mile non-stop 48 hour just blasting down the English channel uh that's another solo sailing trip and uh it's got some pretty big pretty pretty exciting sailing in there uh, the waves were getting pretty big. It was surfing down waves. It was pretty fun. So I should have that video out in a week. I'm excited to edit that footage. Uh, so I was sailing. I just sailed to Guernsey. Tomorrow I'm leaving to uh, Jersey and then working my way to St. Malo in France and then towards the uh, kind of along the French coast to find a good jumping off point to cross the Bay of Biscay and meet up with those those cool orcas. I want to see them. And uh, Annalene had to go back, so I'm just doing some solo sailing now, but she'll be back in a few weeks, I think, and uh, we'll have some cool more videos together. Uh, what else is going on? Yeah, I was planning working my way down towards the med, and uh, I really appreciate uh, all the people who support the channel and uh, help, me, help me do this, and just for watching the videos. I'll see you guys in the next video.